going on guys my name is arrow and today i am bringing you one final meme for 3.21 crucible league and that is flame dash cast on cast ice nova let's get into it So I'm gonna keep this video super short because this build is kind of a meme, but at the same time has some of the most satisfying and beautiful looking clear I've ever seen on a build in PUE. It's a combination of several explosion effects and MTX working together to make a very, very satisfying mapping experience. The build is built around the Infernal Blade, which is a heist base that says trigger level 30 flame dash when you use a socketed skill. So what you'd think is when you click a skill that's socketed into the dagger, it would use that and then make you flame dash. But what happens is it makes you flame dash first sometimes, depending on the skill. And then when you get to your destination, it casts whatever spell that you were trying to cast. The result is a very satisfying teleport explosion mechanic if you pick the right skill. So I tried a bunch of different things. Something like rolling magma will have you ask to the location. And then when you get there, it basically fires the projectile in a random direction. And I can't really figure out how that works. Um, if you use, say, Vortex, it will make you only teleport halfway through your flame dash and stop you, cast the Vortex on the ground, and then sometimes it makes you go further in a random direction. It's super buggy. Sometimes it makes you go backwards. This item is absolutely ridiculous. It's so buggy. So many skills don't work well with it, but there are some skills that work really well and those are usually things that are very quick casts big aoe non-targetables so i decided to use ice nova so when i flame dash i get to the end the ice nova goes off and you actually can scale both the damage of the ice nova and the flame dash using the support gems in the dagger and a squire i was actually a little bit surprised to find that the the triggered flame dash from the weapon works with the gems in the squire so I'm gonna talk about a few of the interesting items in here. This is an item I've always wanted to make work and finally found some use for it, I guess. Uh, very, very fun build. Definitely don't play this, uh, but it was a lot of fun. So let's get into the gear. Okay, so this is the dagger. Infernal Blade Rune Dagger. Trigger level 30 flame dash when you use a socketed skill. Here we have Ice Nova. I don't even have quality on it. This is just kind of a very much last minute throw together build. I was doing league start testing and then I really wanted to make uh, one more meme before the league ended. So I bought this as is with high spaces. It's pretty much smart loot at the end. So when you get one of these high space bases, a lot of times they're rolled really well. So this has a bunch of tier one mods, cast speed, crit chance, multi. So we just, instead of trying to craft something, I just bought one as is. So this links to the Squire and we basically have two six links for uh, Ice Nova and the Flame Dash that's in here. The only one that doesn't work for both is Anomalous Cold to Fire. Um, you're not, we're not getting any, well, we're not getting much cold damage on flame dash. We technically have awakened added cold. So this, some of this gets converted for flame dash, but this is mostly just to convert our ice Nova to fire damage. So we get more out of our flammability. Speaking of flammability, we use a double Uber in presence that has flammability and elemental weakness on it. I don't know what these usually go for, but I bought this for one divine. There's only a couple of them on the market, so you couldn't like build around this as a guide, but this is super, super strong, and I will tell you why. We are an elementalist using Profane Bloom, Forbidden Flesh and Flame. And profane Bloom requires that an enemy is cursed in order to 
make them explode. The idea with this build is that you pour it in, you hit everything one time and everything explodes. And if you had to constantly be casting your flame dash just to like clear up stragglers, the build would feel horrible to play. So what this does is with all of our AOE scaling, we have a massive, massive curse blasphemy setup for both of these curses. And anything pretty much that's on our screen is going to be cursed. So when we flame dash in to the center of a pack, before the Ice Nova uh, casts, it applies the curse to all the enemies around us, which makes everything cursed before we even hit. And then the Profane Bloom explosions are phenomenal. So really cool item here. Uh, another really cool item, something that we needed to do is get our cooldown recovery really, really low. So Flame Dash uh, is built into the item, which means we can't use alt qualities on it or regular quality and scale the quality at all. So all of our cooldown recovery for Flame Dash has to come from other sources. So we get 80% here on the Stampede. Uh, we have a number of sources of this. So Fleet Foot also gives us cooldown recovery. We have a cooldown recovery rate of travel skills node on our crucible passive tree the reduced movement speed does not apply because we use the stampede which sets your movement speed at 150 of your base we have the flame dash cooldown recovery helmet and i think i have a little bit of cdr somewhere else that i can't remember off the top of my head so polaric devastation cover enemies in ash when you ignite them so basically this is useful for uh thicker targets so you hit them with your flame dash as you teleport through them. And then when Ice Nova goes off, they're already covered in ash. So this is a huge, uh, huge damage ring for us. We have a decent amount of spell suppression. I crafted this Hubris Circlet with dense fossils. Uh, I think it took me like five and I hit these prefixes. So we have 383 ES. We actually end up having a massive life pool. Uh, we're up to 2200 ES and uh, 3800 life with Petrified Blood. We have our auras here in our chest, Grace, Herald of Ice, uh, Skitterbots. We use Clarity for uh, mana sustain. Now, this only costs us about 12 mana and 19 life. We have a bunch of sources of, of reduced cost. The Stampede Boots that we have had plus two duration on them. So I threw my uh, Blasphemy setup uh, because curses are duration tagged. So just a couple of levels for that. We have four golems in our helmet. As an elementalist, the golem nodes are just very strong. They're just generically strong. Gives us some defense, some offense, some crit. Uh, another thing, we want to be at 100% crit. We don't get quite there. I think we're like 97% because you're only supposed to be hitting enemies one time to clear the entire screen. You want your crit chance to be really high because if you don't crit and you do way less damage, it feels bad. Got a watcher's eye for uh, some more spell suppress and... Uh, minus mana cost we end up getting a good chunk of spell suppress from a little bit on gear from the watcher's eye and then this will here and making it lucky i don't know what the exact number is but it's it's pretty good for the amount of investment that we have got a lot of evasion so ghost dance is great for keeping this es uh capped and also we have regen of es from the mastery and an es on kill so this es pool is actually uh able to keep topped off pretty easily uh one more important thing uh, i had to solve how i was going to get exposure Mastermind of Discord gives an extra 25 uh, to the affected resistance for exposure. And this is a huge amount of damage. We want to have fire and cold exposure, but we can't get one of those percent chance on hits because again, we're only hitting, you know, once, twice, uh, hopefully not too many times. So the idea behind using heraldry is nearby enemies have exposure. So when I flame dash in before my ice Nova goes off, or even when I'm just running up to enemies, they automatically have exposure. So they have exposure of both types and they have both of my curses on them just when I'm nearby them, which means way, way, way more damage. And it actually makes this build feel really good to map with. The only problem is when you run into super tanky things like essences or like if you have a really juiced up map with more life and uh, less damage taken mods, it can be difficult to kill the map boss. Uh, now, I didn't really min max this. There's definitely more that you could do. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time left. We're running out of uh, time here in the league and I'm ready to do more league start testing, but I really wanted to make this work and I had an absolute blast with it. So I hope you enjoyed. That's going to do it for me. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash AER0 underscore underscore. I am streaming full time now. 
So come stop by and say hello. If you want to support me, you can like this video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I have a Discord, a Patreon, all that's linked in the description below. So thank you so much. And as always, take care.